We are going to be getting started with a Raspberry Pi 5 and I'll be walking through how to get the thermal management set up as well as installing a base operating system onto a micro SD card so we can actually use this as a computer. So the very first step here is getting the thermal pads placed into the right location so that you're gonna be cooling this thing because it can get quite hot. First, we should identify what these chips are. So in here in the bottom left, we have the uh, power supply chips basically. Uh, the chip right here is the CPU. This above it is the memory that is eight gigs of RAM. The chip to this left uh, is is the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. To the right is the chip that is processing the inputs and outputs. From the factory, they ship this thing with the fan uh, connector covered. So there's like this little uh, plastic beige piece on it. So you have to come in with some tweezers and just lift straight up on it and it should come out just like that. So in terms of which chips here you're going to be putting your thermal pads onto, um, you're gonna aim for the CPU the memory, as well as the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi chip on this thing. And then once we've placed these chips where we want them, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. We're going to come in, we're gonna be using our little included plastic uh, push bolt things, and we're gonna be pushing them through these holes here and here. And this is how it looks before we put our heat sink on top. So now um, we can push this on top, and ideally you line it up with that hole right there. And there, and my aim is not the greatest. Uh, but anyway, so we're gonna do that. And then I'm going to push these plastic things through that hole and that hole. And then I'm going to connect up the fan power cable to the little port on the motherboard right there. So you can see that we've got good contact uh, to our CPU through the heatsink uh, and the thermal pad right there. Uh, you can also see the same for the Bluetooth chip uh, and Wi-Fi card right there. So there will be good heat transfer through that via conduction. Um, and then we also have uh, that other memory chip, which you can't really see too well, but um, we have good contact. The thermal pads are sticky once you remove all the plastic covers on them. And then to secure that fan connector, you just push it straight down perpendicular. I'm going to get a micro SD card prepared, so we're gonna jump to that. I've inserted it into a USB adapter so I can then plug this into a USB slot on my computer. Uh, and then on my computer, you can see that it pulls up the uh, empty drive. So I'm just gonna minimize that. And then if you go on the Raspberry Pi website, there is this thing called Raspberry Pi OS. So I'm gonna download this for Windows and we're going to open up this installer. We're gonna say yes, we're okay with it. And we're just gonna go through this guy real quick. So I'll come back when it's done, it's already done. So we're gonna finish that and give this thing a moment. Okay, so um, our Raspberry Pi, so we're gonna pick the Pi 5, because that's what we have, uh, the operating system here. So um, you can go with Ubuntu desktop, and then we're going to choose the storage. So now I'm just gonna click Next, and um, it's gonna erase that data, so we're fine with that, because it needs to format it to get it to uh, be bootable. All right, so after a while, uh, this is the message that you're gonna get, and so you can just click on Continue, and now we can remove the USB slot from our machine. Now that we've got our micro SD card inserted in our Raspberry Pi 5, next thing is we're going to be inserting it into the case. This is the bottom piece of the case. So I'm gonna flip this around like that. And then you can see there's already these little posts, uh, which are supposed to match up to these four corners. So you just set it down in there like so. And you might have to uh, tuck in the micro SD card because it's sticking out a little bit. So you have to come in like that first. We're gonna be putting these screws in, screwing those down uh, into these other slots too. Now I'm going to insert the uh, little power button here. So we're going to pick this thing up and it's supposed to sit in there just like that. Now we can clamp uh, the top part of our case down. So just gonna snap in place. So we're gonna make sure that this guy goes down. I've inserted a mini HDMI cable as well as a uh, keyboard USB wired. And so I'm gonna insert the power into the USB-C slot. And you can see that it automatically boots up. Um, I didn't even push the power button. 
Um, so I'm gonna give it a moment here, but you can see on our screen that uh, it's gonna begin showing us some messages. And yeah, so if you've made it this far, congratulations. We've now got uh, Ubuntu installed, so we can just click through here and go through the uh, setup steps. All right, guys, and this is the finished product. So we have uh, got to our desktop. I put in a username and password, and you can see that we can now open this thing and use this just like we would any other desktop. Go to YouTube and stuff with this. And yeah, so uh, if you made it this far, congrats on getting your uh, Raspberry Pi 5 setup and hope this helps.